Hello and welcome back to the table, folks. Welcome back to Slanted Dice, following along the group of the Undecided as they make their way currently through Avernus, first of the nine layers of hell, to find Blackwater's parents, one of our very own members of this merry group. Um, who wants to catch us up last session? What happened? You are currently in the catacombs of High Hall. Are we actually in the one and a half layer of hell because we're in the catacombs of that cathedral? Good question. Well, I would love to say yes, but no, because there's like still a whole bunch of stuff beneath you. Ah, okay. You're only inside a floating rock at this point. <laughs> well, we so, killed some mummies. Yeah. Um, True. which went quite well for some of us. I think. Didn't yeah. Find the, didn't find the daddies, though. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wow. That was good. Come one. on, we just wow. started. <laughs> hey. I make my living making bad jokes, so mm -hmm. that was it. Okay, now, now I'm retiring. That's good. <laughs> good enough. And apart from that, I don't remember shit. We were walking around looking for an exit, or no, we were looking for more for the survivors. Still. Yeah, half exactly. of the group is always everyone. looking for an exit, and then there's yeah. this one halfling <laughs> yeah. pushing everybody on. When I, yeah, and we I didn't talk find to the ghost. Blackwater's parents yet, and then Branwolf and I think Tiala, they spotted a ghost. Yeah, yeah, I confronted the ghost and was not afraid of it, and kind of try to get some information out of it and it pointed us towards a room in the south uh, east and we followed it and found a horned gentleman yeah you found who, a small uh, little set up by a yeah. male tiefling man who uh, seems to be making his way through the interesting parts of Avernus collecting and gathering magical artifacts and other reliquies and uh, he offered you some you purchased you did a, a couple of of good purchases i think already okay. but that's basically where we stopped i remember that um uh, so this uh tiefling's name was uh, delios torzalan and i think tiala you were eyeballing the Javelin of lightning that he had. Oh, I did for buy a few things, right? Yes, I, you did. Yeah, we I, I remember did, we yeah. traded a few gems for like health potions and something else, which I can't remember. Exactly. And you should you have, have, all, have all of that inside. Yeah. You were interested, Tiala, in the javelin, the grappling hook, and a way out of hell. I'm not saying this in character. Uh, in trade for the price of the job. Oh, I also wrote it all down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Delius is currently standing there, still like kind of like presenting you this uh, magical javelin. <laughs> so, um, is anybody interested in purchasing this uh, fine artifact, or are we done for I the mean, day? Interested. Or any sure. other services that you might require. But did I already buy something? Can somebody remember? Yes, you bought the, the really cool robe and gave it to me. Oh, true. Ah, right. The robe of uh, uh, useful things, <laughs> I think it was. Um, uh, yes. We all bought a few things. I'm trying to get oh, online in yeah. Foundry now and see if I have it. Probably. Remind you should have to, everything in your inventory, yeah. Remind me to yeah. share the, the ah, potions of healing. Yeah, with people. Because <laughs> I think I think um, Lulu needed some healing, I believe. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I can't remember. Well, no, Lulu looked fine yeah. actually. Yeah, someone needed she, healing. Oh, both she and, and and Shora looked fine. Oh, never mind. Okay. I think I was pretty down, but yeah, I'm... currently Tiala, Frion, and uh, Blackwater, all of you do have very like visible, you know. Uh, visible wounds. Uh, tis but a scratch. Tis but a scratch. So, um, if uh, I take it you're not interested then in the javelin, um... Yes, yes, wait, give me a yes, second. Yes, you are. 
interested? Yes. I mean, I I can also provide uh, other services. Um, since you've also come through this place and probably encountered a couple of other interesting artifacts, I might be able to help you in identifying them. I don't think we need that, but we are interested. I'm just saying I'm kind of an expert on this particular field. Yes, we are, quite my still, we are still interested in your... In the javelin. Yes, that as well. And my services. But yes, services. I see. Well, yes. with what shall we start then? And he well, eagerly just gleams at you. <laughs> How about the javelin, the grappling hook, and a way out of hell or for how much was the javelin? <laughs> gold pieces. Well, um, I mean, fa fa it's, it's fair to say. Okay. Can you maybe um? Well, you any, said anything you in particular? Visited. Huh? Like anything is, it's it's kind of like a loose phrase, a way out of hell. I mean, I well, might have some information, but I don't plane. really have the a portal, a portal that Something takes us like back. That. A portal hmm. in uh, in our well, how respective are you pieces. Traveling? Well, I myself am not uh, an extravagant wielder of the arcane forces, so I can't be of any help there. But I'm sure. There are many powerful beings, especially fiends across the plane of Avernus that might know a way or two back to the prime material plane, if that is yeah, what you but, seek. But you said you traveled to our Yes, plane, I've been right? using uh, exactly that. I've brokered okay. some good deals by the teeth of my skin, so to speak, but um, that's how I came out of this place. That's also how I return here sometimes. Okay, perfect. So they are basically friends of your, you, yours. Well, I, I, I know a couple of uh, maybe interesting contacts that I, I could maybe track down or find some information with. The thing is that well, these, these fiends, they usually deal on a kind of soul-to-soul -soul basis. They don't have intermediate brokers like myself. You would have to approach them yourself and um, maybe work out something that might work for everybody. You're not able to put on a good word for us or anything? A good word only counts uh, so and so much down here in Avernus. I'm afraid. Well, apparently a lot of deals are being based off simply the word of people and creatures and demons. Well, and it's not really the word. Have you ever struck a deal with a devil yourself? Yes, a matter of fact, we did strike a deal, remembering that we defeated a, um, a, oh god, where's my... Victuza. Yeah, but here we are. We we just we defeated Victuza, and um, matter of fact, this is her longsword, which uh, oh. which you might recognize. Do you have the coin? And and I also have a soul coin, which I got from her. A to show, soul coin? Yes, to show us more or less as a passage. I don't know if that would help, or where that might help. Well, I'm sure that it might help you, um, but if you're interested in selling it, I oh, no, uh, no, would no, no, be no. open for purchasing it for a large sum. No, I believe um, I might throw I, might in need half it. the javelin for that matter. I don't. I think we. I think we'll be needing the the coin. Elsewise, I sh probably but should you, not. Bend it. You did say that you brokered a deal with this Victuza fella. Did you like sign anything? No, it was a word deal. She said. Then uh, it wasn't it was... a deal in Avernus. Well, we signed her face with blood. Yeah. <laughs> well, that kind of sounds we, like a deal in Avernus. We let her. Stuff. We we let her live, and she gave us a coin and just, just said to mention her name as. At least as a slight passage amongst 
lesser demons. Interesting. I've I never know. heard of this Victuza fella, but mm. uh, maybe maybe that soul coin will definitely uh, come in handy down the road for you. Big white. Very the dangerous looking. Sound, sounds like a white Abishai, perhaps. These mm. are one of the lesser lesser known generals in the, the fiendish yeah. uh, battalions. Very aggressive sort. Oh, yes. Oh, Apparently. yes. Yeah. Had hellhounds. Yeah. Tur- Turzalan, what interests me, you have been down here in those catacombs for how long now? Oh, the catacombs here is about maybe a day. I've only just started ex- exploring these. Uh, apparently, this uh, this high hall was part in this whole city of a city called Horgrim's Gate from the Prime Material Plane. So how did you get past the ghosts? Well, and I'm how did you... Sneaky in that regard. Sneaky. I mean, uh, I know my way around the burn is trying to remain unseen by the devilish forces, and if I could do that, a couple of ghosts are not going to uh, be a problem. And you said you never heard of Victuza, who was guarding the entry hall above, which was the only way down to this... Uh, to this... No, um, I mean I've I've seen a a, a white <laughs> Abishai and walking walking around with a with a troop, but I've uh, slipped past them as they were not paying attention. But uh, I haven't heard any names or Victuza itself. Does not sound familiar to me. And have you seen anyone else down here in the catacombs? No, the only other sign of life I've heard is that noise coming up from the north from this here location. What noise is that? It sounds monstrous, to be honest. Some loud air vibrating uh, noise, kind of scraping and screeches at times. I'm not too keen on finding out what it is, which is why I've been holding myself to these outskirts of the catacombs thus far. And I haven't decided yet myself if I want to go as far as that. There's a door which is uh, leading up to what seems to be a room where this sound is emanating from. Can I make an inside check if his story checks out? Because, I mean, he has been down for like half a day now. Yeah, he's kind of flaky with his story. How long have we been here? Not that long, and traveled through quite a big part of that. Sorry about Mm -hmm. that. Yeah, go ahead and roll an inside check. Somebody's doing some hellish printing here. 23. 23. He seems honest. You don't think he's hiding anything? Seems to be to be honest with uh, with with you guys about just being some kind of uh, maybe antiquities hunter or artifact rarities hunter himself, and maybe is just using the opportunity of the chaos to plunder a bit. How did you get into those Ferengi? Well, I used one of the. There was a contraption up above in the high hall, which when the post was left unguarded, I slipped my way in. Hmm. How did you get down here? I assume the same way, or is there another way out of these uh, tunnels? That's what I was wondering. If you know anything about any other way out. No, that was the only entrance that I know, that I found so far. No hellhounds were guarding and no white demons. I've seen a few hellhounds outside, but at that time nobody was inside the cathedral itself. Maybe the timing was just highly coincidental. Who knows? Okay. I mean, it's not like it would help us anyway. Well, we have to be on our merry way, I believe. Yeah, before that. Nobody is interested now in the javelin or the identifying of any arcane. We are, but I believe that the price of the javelin itself yeah, we is just don't have too steep. I 
just don't have the means and I'm not parting with the slow coin because that definitely uh, yeah. is something so which we might You should hold on to that, yes. Yes, oh, yeah. That's why we had uh, the deal that Her Majesty had uh, proposed. Which, just to reiterate, would be the javelin, uh, the grappling hook, and potentially a good word from you towards those uh, teleporting well, I mean, transporting I, I suppose I can, um, I can maybe... The thing is, I would have to maybe contact you again if, if I would find out something about a potential way. And how are we going to go about that? Or how would I know I mean, you can, where you are? Because you Avernus just, is a very fluctuating place. Just give us the name of the person you used before. The name of the person I used before? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Where you said you traveled to our plane yes. by the help of somebody else. It was a different devil each time, yes. Whoever so I was able to find at that particular moment. I can try planes. seeking seeking them out myself, but I don't really know if you would be able to find these beings. Usually you stumble upon those devils in the moment you need them the most. They have that kind of... Uh, well, skill. Did you always struck a deal with them? For every time you wanted to be transported from one side to the other? Yes, a small exchange of items here, maybe a favor here and there. Could you give us an example of what your recent trade was? Well, one I found a soul coin once as well and was able to barter that for a way back. Uh, to the prime material plane um, with one of the the uh, I think I'm not quite sure where he was in the ranking of the fiends but he was a bit higher up um, this this other time and I feel kind of a uh, little bit sad to say this um, I traded the life of one of the uh, Lemurs down here without them having a chance uh, to redeem themselves and their soul being forever shunned away to the nine hells for myself to get back and there was another time which I wouldn't prefer to talk about that's, that's... since we only just met exactly no that, that's reasonable uh, I think we have definitely enough reference for our future occasions um, regardless I feel like we should just go on with the deal and then maybe proceed if everyone's alright with that um, yeah. so yeah yeah I guess so we, we should say the javelin, the grappling hood what did we agree on? the third bit was well no I mean the what do I get oh uh, we well, were thinking that part we haven't reiterated <laughs> of yet course, of course uh, our offer or her highness's offer was uh, for you to get the 1800 gold pieces. Sounds reasonable. Yes. Or throw in the grappling hook and also the. a small little maybe advice which might help you in finding your way back out. Be prepared to cut losses. Because usually people who leave hell do not return the same. So even though these devils usually say that you will be restored fully, it feels like leaving this place, a small little piece of the soul dies each time or gets eaten away by the acts or the deal that you have brokered. But yes, 1800 gold it is. And he put, puts out the uh, grappling hook and the javelin. And I'm going to add that to you, Tiala. Once okay, I'm able to so. Open your thingy. There we go. But a beam, but a boom. There you go. While, while they're, um, while he's counting coins and something, uh, uh, just maybe, I don't know if he's. 
if you can help me with this with any advice or not, but um, if have you ever heard of a dead spirit or the spirit of the dead returning full again to the uh, to our plane? Because in our world, I I died, and here I think I am just a spirit. My friends here are all alive and well, but well, I, I mean, seem to, to be... be honest, it is pretty weird uh, seeing these ghosts and undead in this place. So maybe whatever has awoken them or helped them arise in this dire place might also be the same source that has awoken you because yeah, you did be. not arrive here as a no. restless soul trying to redeem itself. You seem different, but as it surpasses I, as I sh- my knowledge about. As I have shown you, uh, this is my my body, and all my possessions were preserved in this in this miniature version of myself. Which I, and, well, if which I may I ask, coped. what is uh, what is this growing? And he kind of like points to your torso and shoulder, where oh. this this darkened area of these slight little, almost the, like feather like uh, structure. Yeah. Uh, well, growing is, over your skin. This is a, a marking which uh, was given to me upon upon dying and being revived from the dead. From the it is the blessing of the oh god Raven Queen. Was that correct? Shit, what's her name? <laughs> what does it say on your character sheet? Yeah, I can't <laughs> find it at the moment. That's why. That's just, why I'm, I, I mean, if you can Raven just like Queen. double click on your sheet, it should say that it in there should as be well. in there. Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah, anyways, um, it was, it was the, um, well, maybe you have your answer right there. Maybe some godly power intervened in your death and changed the course or the nature of what happened. It's not on my biography yet. I have to fill that in. It's not, it's not online yet. It's on my... Okay, okay yeah, so maybe that's... No, it's under your them. under your features. You have like the Raven Queen's blessing under your there. active abilities. Oh yeah, here it is. Yeah, the Raven Queen's blessing. There we are. Yeah, yeah. After falling in battle, my my soul was allowed to persevere thanks to the Raven Queen, and I became marked by her black talons on my torso, which I've was never seen her like blessing. Hmm. And according to what I've I haven't found it out yet, but the blessing once a day, the marked a marked warrior can endure an otherwise killing blow. So, oh, that'd be helpful. Yeah. So it's. Uh, Have you, you didn't heard know this Raven but... Queen? Yes, I've heard her name fall before. It's a dark goddess and something to do with the. Uh, this group of, of of deities known as the Mothers that the uh, mortals of Revelia usually pray to. But yeah. That's all you heard. Yeah. Well, I know that she is rather old herself and uh she is also usually not present or working in hell because the fade is her realm. Yeah. Or at least one that she resides in and rules over. She is usually somebody who visits those passing on before they come to down here, either yeah. to the Nine Hells or maybe leave for Mount Celestia. She's more of a companion for the last couple of miles, so to speak. Yeah. So maybe whatever, if indeed it was her who altered whatever fate had bestowed on you, maybe that's exactly the answer you're seeking for. Yeah, I think you might be right. Well, thanks for everything. And... um well, if you need me, I probably won't be here long. I think I've yeah. 
seen enough of this place and might yeah. move on to the next soon. Yeah, we're gonna try our luck and I don't know. Should we try the Should we try the door next uh, where the noise is coming from, or do? I think should we, we should head, head back. back because I head saw back. footsteps leading in some room and we didn't check that. Oh, okay. Room out we yet. should then, yeah. And we have to check on our little ones, anyways. And Lulu and uh, mm. and our girl. Yeah, there's, there's no other exit out of that room where standing he's standing uh, back. Uh, make an investigation check if you want to. I'll join. There's like another small. Please uh, do join. <laughs> How do I roll for investigation? Oh wait, just open the character sheet, right? Uh, I've got a nine. Oh yeah, that's right. That works as well, I think. Oh, the yeah, game is nine. still paused. That's why we can't move. Oh yeah. Oh, hang on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Now yeah, you should okay. be able to. Yeah, just um, look, look, looking up here. I guess that's fifteen where, in total. Where that door is supposed to be. Fifteen in total. Um. Yeah, looking around, this is just another, like, side mausoleum with a small little alcove at the end. Mm. Don't find any hidden entryways or doors other than the, like, oh. recessed uh, bones and, and skulls in, that are recessed into the walls and stacked there neatly. I guess I don't have the torch anymore. Well then, yeah, Tiala, maybe you should lead us back to where you yeah, saw okay. those tracks. There you go. Yes, I will lead them back to an remember where... I mean, it was only like a one-way coming here. It wasn't towards the entrance, was it? Like, because we do, we did meet up with the part that connects with the entrance, I believe. Yeah, you did. And that had a bunch of uh, footsteps, as far as I remember. I'm not sure. If it was dead, but this was a dead end, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Down there, yeah, that definitely looks like a dead end. I'm just seeing another set of grave sites down there. I thought it was a door, but I might be wrong. But oh, do you see the ghost anywhere? No, I'll go ahead and see just in case because. I think it was the one you're standing in front yeah, of. Yeah, Blackwater and Tiala, as you like, kind of backtrack a bit. Going past this hallway that leads north, you both immediately hear this, like, just raging sound of something, like, almost like this low drone. I run behind Tiala. But are the footsteps leading in there? I think it was the hallway. This was a hallway, yeah. And you, these footsteps do seem to lead northward. Okay, let's check it out. Oh you see that yeah. this uh, entry also like goes over to the eastern side and there is a closed door there and standing before it now you hear an extremely like this drone sound getting very loud almost like in a kind of like menacing or threatening way but do the footsteps lead to the door yeah looks like it uh, could we could we sort of um, um, I don't know find out what sort of sound or what sort of thing that sound creates? It, is it like or, or like if it's an animal or yeah. if it's a make an arcana check machine or whatever? I wonder if I, where everybody went. Where are you guys? I'm, I'm gonna still go. down. Yeah, I'm still down here with the. Uh, 20 Follow the blood. <laughs> okay, yeah. Keep you can't like drag yeah. yourself through walls. You have to like drag. Yeah, I just uh, one by one. Uh, what was it, Freon? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Um, you're getting the sense that this is. It's definitely nothing natural. There's some like, maybe arcane tone underneath it all. And you're not quite sure if this is from a, like an entity or maybe a spell. Well, there you guys are. Okay, so we might need to be a bit careful when we open that door. So, oh, what we can do, and I, I, I 
Arcane users, please tell me if this is a super dumb idea, but I do have these potions that the drinker is basically immune to any magic. We can have our barbarian chug that, open the door, and just run face first into whatever's coming. Yeah. Excellent plan. I sound like a most excellent plan. Why not? But yes. how long? Uh, uh, Tiala, as you like, stand directly in front of the door, yeah. mm -hmm. the drone sound becomes louder once more and you hear like almost this monstrous distorted voice just saying leave now only oh, death an invitation. awaits okay give me my give me the potion can we hear that or yeah you, you all hear it okay i'm giving you the potion yeah. run wolf give me the potion and did tiala step did that aside. sound like a halfling alton what do you reckon? I mean, depends. On the morning after drinking, maybe, but yeah. no, oh, not the normal day. So. Okay. Tiala, you want me to try to step in? You want me to totally go aside? And I keep running into you. Did, did, so he, uh, did you ex accept the, the potion already? Yes, I, I just drank the potion. Oh, okay, oh. I don't know what. Yeah, I but have what is here. the duration of the potion? Uh, one hour actually. Ah, okay. Perfect. I can read the description okay. shortly, or actually, I just linked yeah. it there. Anti-magic potion consumable. Uh, okay, so. Uh, yeah, Brown. Uh, Brown. It seems like the door is locked. Okay. Anybody have lock picks? I do. Or at I least it doesn't it doesn't budge after you like attempt to open it. So even with Does my it seem locked? even with my strength it doesn't. I mean, budge. if you wanna, you can like try, but just like trying to open it, you notice it doesn't budge. Is it might be locked? Might be like barricaded? You're not an sure. Arcane mm. lock or blocking system or whatever, maybe. Since it's such a magical creature, Ma I mean... make an make an investigation check. Oh, gladly. So when you look like at the, the lock itself, can't you see like normal doors have like those <laughs> stuffs that go in the wall, you know, you can see if it's locked or not. Blackwater, you're not sure with the two. <laughs> no, I'm not good at all kinds of stuff anyway, so. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, the, the lock, the lock itself, yeah. it's pretty high up. <laughs> is it a normal lock or is it, or is it no lock? Is it just it, look, a... it looks like a like a normal like like what you see is a keyhole effectively okay perfect. but it seems like it's maybe blocked by something on the other side there's no way to look oh, okay. through it's not like there's a lock in front of the door but just trying to push okay, or pull so the door open. looks like the door is blocked yeah have we okay. tried knocking i knock okay you lock <laughs> they, in and once more the voice they just they go uh, away? replies leave now Nope. We were looking for some friends of ours. Maybe you could help. At this point, you also hear a... Sounds like a baby crying. A uh, baby that's crying? That's okay, that's it. Yeah, margin. that's it. Hey, that's it. No. No killing kids on my watch. You're not going to start that again. Oh, I know. Kill kids. It's just, Here I we go it's again. I know. But... Grand Wolf, calm down. No, they're killing babies in there. And um, what's your passive perception, Freon? Uh, a lot. 17. 17, yeah. Also, like, immediately after you heard, like, this sound coming from a baby, you heard, like, at least maybe two voices just going, like, psst. Okay, I that's we, it. Um, I am. I am oh, going Grand to. Wolf, calm down. Why? There's. <laughs> I'd like to enter a rage, knock down the door, and see what the fuck is in there. No, we, I don't no. think we need that. They're oh. killing babies. They are not killing babies. They, they are just are trying to uh, messing scare with, off messing big with my old mind. barbarians. Again, How the baby, the baby now starts something? to go into a full-on like, like bawling, and you you and... just hear like a. Psh, psh, psh. <laughs> you go, psh, psh, psh. What do you do with the baby? 
people in there? Are you like citizens of Horgrim Skate or El Terrell? We're here to help. The cathedral is safe again. We killed everything that was upstairs. Mom, are you there? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Blackwater. <laughs> it's Alton and friends. Black um, bro, sorry. <laughs> make a Tiala, make a a persuasion check I'm for me. Really not good. I can help you since I also screaming around. Uh, not that Pesuazion. bad. Hey, Pesuazion, uh, Jones, it's a sixteen. Not just just Tiala. Sixteen. Not just Tiala. Um, you do suddenly, like, from one second to the next, the droning sound vanishes, and it's quiet. And I try to open the door. And you hear a, a, a small little, like, something that's being shoved aside behind the door. Hmm. Can we open the door now? Yeah, if you want to. Yes, I will. So, I will open the door. Open the door. We have come for your spinning wheel. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bramble, the first thing that you see oh, there it is. is that this opens up into like a large crypt area, which is what looks to be presently home to maybe about a hundred frightening, uh, frightening, frightened uh, people. You right. see that there's like several uh, sarcophagi in alcoves and also in the midst of this room, these big grave sites where they're like cowering behind. Um, most of them also like just looking at the closest ones to you, you see their eyes red and their cheeks uh, stained with tears from that like just run oh. down through the soot on their faces. I'm standing like right in the middle of the room in in, uh, in front of this like large uh, looks almost like a well or a fountain of some sort. You see a haggard uh, woman, uh, gray hair, just matted with sweat, with one arm clutching uh, what looks to be this large, uh, this large leather bound tome uh, to her breast. And um, in the other hand, uh, that was like just stretched out. You see just the remnants of some arcane force that are now like dissipating um and you're guessing she was probably the one emanating whatever the sound yeah. uh was and you also see that on her side of the belt she's wielding a a what looks like a ceremonial mace that would probably shatter if struck against anything harder than a piece of wood most likely um but Hello. yeah other 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 than that, like most all of this area around these people are just like going uh like recessing back from you, taking a couple step backs. Mm. And uh, you see that these grave sites uh, also probably were of numerous like worshippers and servants of uh Morrigan um that were probably down here late to rest over the past yeah. century or so. I kinda raise my hands and you know I mean, yeah, I you have... see the the um, the woman herself uh, just immediately says, "Stop! Don't come any closer." No need to be afraid. We're all friends here. We're looking for the Black Brew family. Halflings. <laughs> Halflings, that were also halflings. Yes. And they are uh, survivors of uh, El Turel or Horgrim's Gate? Horgrim's Gate, yes. Horgrim's Gate, yes. I've seen uh, two halflings passing through here just recently. Mm hmm. Could where they be did here? they go? Where, where, where are you coming from? What is the situation up top? We've been trying to hold out down here for, for days. Mm -hmm. I'll make room for Blackwater to get in front so I can explain a little bit more about family and stuff. There you go. I mean, we've cleared out whatever we could from the catacombs and the uh, top floor, but that doesn't mean that it's not dangerous around here because, I mean, it is the Nine Hells. Have you seen um, a, a tall man 
black of skin wearing lots of armor anywhere up in those streets oh uh, yes wasn't wasn't that the 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 guardian of the bridge, yeah, the bridge wasn't that uh, yeah the bridge guardian no no i'm oh. talking about a human not a fiend oh, of a any human. sort a human male man dark skin silver eyes no no have you no. ever heard of grand duke all the raven guard Oh, Raven oh. Guard. Yes, we've heard oh, of Raven Guard. Yes, he's been. Uh, he he set out with a troop just a day ago, and we were expecting him back probably for hours now. But we have no no word of him so far, and I'm slowly but surely fearing that maybe the worst has happened. Those two halflings you seek, they went with him mm. and his company. Where do they go, exactly? They use this here uh, old well, which is connected to uh, the cemetery that Older Ravengard was looking into. Apparently, there's been a surge or influx of what seems to be undead at the place that have been alongside the fiends, of course, uh, might be over trying to overrun the city soon. And... Hmm. My parents decided to just go and investigate the source of danger. I don't know if it's uh, your your parents of some sort, but these two halflings were very helpful people. They were administering first aid to lots of the people. They would have here. been older. They, I mean, they would have been. They would have been. Um, like it's just his parents. Are the lady probably not, never stopped helping people, no. even if yeah. she needed help herself. And yeah, that sounds daughter, like her. She was. Yeah. She was yeah. very tired. Yeah. But both of them uh, thought it best to undertake the journey to the cemetery and help Raven Guard wherever they could. Mm -hmm. mm. But what do you mean by overrun the city? I mean, you know that your city is fucked. It's been dragged down to hell. Well, of course I know that. No need to put it so bluntly, dwarf. <laughs> well, what is all of your names? My name is Feria Jenkins. I'm Branwolf, Skilfing Warrior. Alton yeah, Blackbird no. and Her Majesty. I bow to yeah. her direction. The Lady Tiala. I'm Grumpy the Dwarf. <laughs> works every time. It works every time. Oh, sorry, yeah. it's not Jenkins, it's, it's Jinx. Close enough. <laughs> oh, Jinx, okay. Oh, Furrier Jinx, yeah. <laughs> so, Jenkins. Um, <laughs> Would you think it is safe to venture down the well uh, at this point in time? At this point in time, I do yes. not know what is safe. I know that Alder Ravengard used this ancient passageway to reach the cemetery unseen to avoid the streets up above, teeming with these fiendish forces and probably worse. This is an old... Uh, passageway that connects the high hall catacombs to the cemetery mm. and uh, they've been using it like i said to remain out of sight and mm -hmm. to reach the destination in a quick but stealthy manner was the voice that we heard was that uh, a magic of yours to keep to keep uh, people out or was this something else that we heard? Yes, I'm trying my okay. best to keep these people safe no, as it's, it's the good. last it worked. thing it's I was effective. tasked with by Raven Guard yeah. and may Morrigan was, help me, but I was... am the last thing standing in line between yeah. these poor people and the darkness that looms outside. So what was his plan B? In case they don't return, what should happen? We didn't have a plan B. Plan B, yeah. How long has it been? Well, he set out a day ago, and I was expecting oh. him back today. Okay. But well. so far, he's already a couple of hours late. He, he said would that come they back were the, same way. the reason yeah. why they wanted to go to the cemetery is because he was looking for an ancient artifact that might uh, help him retrieve some insight into the situation and what's going on down there because supposedly there's an artifact hidden that would help him but I didn't pry any further 
But we all have to we'll find a way out. to get to get you and everyone else back to the plane out of hell. So that's also yeah. I mean, we're back to what the city is lost. Yeah, but there Megan, has to be a way. better than hell. To get back. I mean, if you know a way out of hell and to help uh, over a hundred people down here out, uh, be my guest, lead them to salvation. But we have to find a way, and if we can, then we would. So, so oh. far, all that I am trying to live and strive for day by day is trying to keep these people alive. And so far, I have done a pretty damn good job myself. Yes, I'm not about to go someplace and ask some fiend to open a portal to return to just be maybe shenaniganed into some weird deal well then what was your plan of returning to wait for the raven god who's the wisest of all of us all right and he might know more about the situation after he's acquired the artifact and cleared the situation at what is going on in that cemetery. Mm -hmm. So, well, look, looks like he might. Maybe the best way is for us to um, to follow him and maybe meet up. You with don't him. look so good yourself, if I might say so. I think maybe you should take the time since we're waiting anyway. Yes, he might maybe. still return to maybe rest up since this place is safe that or is at least idea. as safe as I can harbor it. Yeah, yeah that's that's all I can offer. Thing. I don't have any resources I can part no. with or anything else. How does but she it... look in terms of like, is she, is she exhausted? Has she been standing for like 48 hours protecting everyone or does she look fine? Make a medicine check. Oh, I think I'm good at that. I should yeah. be good at that. <laughs> And theoretically, since this I'm is not. a safe, <laughs> I'm <class>. not <laughs> a half safely harbor. What did you roll? Probably uh, eight. Eight. I mean, the thing that strikes you most are her eyes. She looks like weary and about to like maybe doze or off or just drop to the floor, tired. You can't spot like anything else, any no. wounds or, or other signs, but she would just you, looks exhausted. Would you consider, would you like to rest while we stand guard and take turns standing guard while we have a long rest here? Because you well, could well, that use a, a good very night's sleep too. Intriguing offer. I We bring food. I can't trust anybody who just walks inside the door. We're not, we're not demons, and we're definitely not devils. Also, we're sharing food. Well, yeah. you could be shape changes, for all I know. Nah. Not the first time I've seen a devil walk amongst mortals. Well, you Who did want to change into a. <laughs> Who would want to change into a naked skill? You see, I mean, you see me. her uh, kind of like she, she has her hand on this little flask, and she looks at you. May I? At who? At you, Branwolf. Yeah. And she kind of like opens it up and just sprinkles like this water onto you. It's yeah, acid. Sure. <laughs> and no, uh, it's not. It's no, water, nothing probably. seems to happen. No. Just the pearlets of the water ripple down my <laughs> wonderfully ribbed. Ripped Gl body for an old man. Glistening in the candlelight. Glistening in the candlelight. <laughs> she gets horny. <laughs> and I well, leave the room. Yeah, I look like an Australian firefighter. Calendar it's... boy. <laughs> it's... <laughs> yes. It certainly seems like uh, yes. you're not a fiend. I'm wet. <laughs> <laughs> you're all wet. Well, he's beastly, that's for sure. Yes. No, I'm not a fiend. But um, mm, you can definitely trust us. You can trust us. Make a persuasion check. Sure. I'm good at that. I'm a good old barbarian here. Let me see. Let me uh, use here. Where are our little thing that I have to do? Here we go. Da -da. And then we need the roll. The roll. We shall do the roll. Okay. Public roll. And it is. Here we go. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Come on, do it. 
Do it, baby, do it. And submitting. Here we go. Google up. A 12. Plus, plus. Oh, no. well, yeah. What's we your have charisma? Persuasion. Persuasion is. Persuasion. Put on my spectacles. <laughs> um. Where is charisma? Oh, well, not that charismatic. I only have 11. No, that's zero. That's uh, no, that's just 12. Okay. It's only 12. Well, I and a big I smile. Can maybe I can rest my eyes for an hour or two. Sure. Because we can take we can take turns. I mean, that's the only way we were able to. And you see, you see that survive. immediately, like she uh, retreats in one of the corners, and there's like at least fifteen or sixteen uh, smaller children that like run to her and huddle up to her as well, yeah. and a couple of the other uh, survivors that just like kind of place themselves around her. And they all just like hunker down together. But other than Alton, that, there's like Alton, you off said to the sides, all these small little groups. Do we have food we can share, Alton? Did you say uh, we had? I have nine rations, which apparently have to go anyway because apparently yeah. things spoil. Yeah, really that's fast true. Or... And, uh, and we also, I also have a for of, uh, what's her name, Shora, Shora, yeah, yeah, in here as well. Shora, do you like know any people that are down it's here? It's true, do yeah. You remember look. somebody? Hang on, I'm Maybe looking for Shora. Oh, there they are. I need to pull them in here. You see, yeah. uh, actually, that uh, Shora has already like run off to the side and is like uh, talking indistinctively with what looks to be like a small little boy and his mother. Okay. Do you know these people, Shora? She just like looks at you and nods her head, okay. and looks up. Okay, then you stay with them, okay? You stay with them. Oof. She okay. just nods again. Go play something. Yeah. Or sleep. Maybe. Yeah, you see that the um, um the, the, the mother turns to you, Branwolf and Tiala, and she says, have you been protecting uh, this girl all this time? Yes, we and here are our little friend Lulu, and I show him the little, our little fanti. Trying to see how yeah, many she says, well, I have. thank you very much. I knew her, yeah. her mother, her father, not so much, but her mother. But it seems that she's lost both from what she's uh, told us. But what you, uh, she did say that she, uh, you did keep a very good eye on her. And yeah. she's had quite the adventure, it seems. Yeah, poor girl went through a lot. Um, I can't find it, but I know I had rations. I'm gonna take off two of my rations. Yeah, just, just double click on your icon under inventory. Where oh no, you don't have any rations. No, I don't have any. I don't have any rations. Nope. I don't. Oh yeah, because everything's in my little body. <laughs> That's true. I, I've got nothing. I can't give anybody rations. I, I'm going. Somebody else is carrying and hoarding all the rations. Yeah, I somebody have has to hoard. A bunch of rations that I could share. Yes. Yeah, give, give, give them for the kids at least. So the children have something. Tiala, All right, how was... many? How many do you want to share? It depends. Tiala is still able to conjure food, right? When I've slept. Yeah, that's what we're gonna Perfect. sleep now. In that case, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna give off all my nine rations away. Oh. Okay. Here yeah. You see, like, party to, to to anybody in particular, or. Well, mm. she can. Have I, her I, uh, distributed to the kids. On the yeah, ground exactly. and fight for it. <laughs> yeah, fight look, for it. Peasants. It's no, I, I just give it to whoever looks kind of a figure of authority and just have them share yeah. it around. Fairly. All right. Yeah, you see that like the in, in these smaller groups of children, there's usually like at least one or two adults that kind of like share it immediately and just uh, thank, thank you as you hand it to them. And all of these kids like eyes light up as well. Um, at this, even while stale, they're probably hungry and don't have that much. You do see a couple of sacks uh, of grain and other things uh, standing somewhere in, in a damp corner, but that's about it. Um, you do see Lulu, who kind of like looks uh, extremely like worked up. She's like she's just like cuddled Chora, and is then just like very with her snout. And her wings, like, kind of down, just floating back to to you, Tiala. Is that? <laughs> I'm gonna miss her. You stay well, with us, girl. 
But I think this is for the best, yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. Lily, do you want to rest because you do look tired, too? I'll take the first watch. Well, how long are we planning to stay? Well, I would consider a long rest, and since we're all waiting, maybe that the Raven Guard will come back. If not, then we'll... we'll yeah, if he's not them. here when we finish the long rest, we yeah, should I'd send, check yeah, out. Yeah, we do him. a long rest so that everybody's so that everybody rests up. Sounds good. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, then if you choose to do a yeah, long I'll, rest, then I'll do. Yeah, I'm gonna we'll have see first what watch. I'll join you. Okay. I'm going I'd to. I'd like to to cast the ritual spell before I'm having a snooze. Oh. All right, then let's start with that. Um, I'd like to identify the squishy eye. The squishy eye. Okay, hang on a sec. I need to check up again on what the identifying role was. Where's my stuff? I messed up again. There we go. I lost my way. Oh man, my laptop is super slow today. Yep. I keep clicking myself out of the map okay how <laughs> so on. there we go um ba, 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 ba. uh yes it's an arcana oh no you're casting identify right yes that was what you wanted to do oh, yes which means let me check is that um, to identify one item or like multiple items? No, identify I itself. That I must touch throughout the casting of the spell. Ah. Do you want to cast it twice and do the mace as well? Also, I have a blowgun. Do we have uh, pearls? Ah, okay, no, but never mind. I can use my uh, like I don't know a short rest to do it as well. Yeah, I mean, you can, like, use your watch if somebody else covers that as well. Depends on how many pearls are on the pearl necklace that I have. Um, Well, it's not about the amount of pearls, but the, like, worth of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, It should say like a value on the pearl necklace itself right yes it does excellent okay so Good. let me double check where's your pearl necklace pearl necklace there we go and yeah sums it about up maybe it's right. that many that's all right it's 100, that many <laughs> one 100 uh i would say if you want to break it up, it's about. Yeah, no, it's about that. That's fine. Okay. I mean, 15, I still have 15 one pearls. Lift. Yeah. Yeah, I still have one lift, so I'm going to use that first. All right. Then. Um, so you do that before everybody goes to rest, right? And I'm going to position myself here um, close enough to the. Um, to this well, just mm-hmm. in case I hear something coming from there, because that seems to be the only way of entry at the moment. All right. And um, the... Oh, sorry, that was you. And um, the... So you're going to take first watch, Ranwolf. I'll take first watch. And gonna Blackwater is going to join you. I will join you, yeah. Um, okay, so, Freon. You sit down... For 10 minutes casting that ritual with the pearl and the uh, owl feather. And what you uh, notice immediately after focusing um, the uh, on the eye itself is that it's called an eye of newt. And this eye seems to have one charge and regain one expended charge each full moon. You can use an action to cast the arcane eye spell and that spell effect remains while full concentration is held. Now I should be able to 
bada beam bada boom identify it and you should have it in your inventory yeah. now right yeah yes. there you go so yeah but all of you go to bed brand wolf and alton you remain vigilant yeah um lulu you go to bed too yeah she like cuddles up yeah. with tiala yeah you need your best and keeping a close eye on Shora as long as she still can. Um, is there anything specific you want to do during your during your watch? Can't like do I close the door before we go to sleep. It's closed. Yeah. I'm at the door. Oh, I done. I done that. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> I'll be crafting potions and poisons with the remaining reagent points I have. I. All right. Can't do anything because <laughs> my whole inventory is in my. Yeah, no, stash, I mean, just, so. just just, in general, if there's something, I don't know, you want to talk to Alton or you want to check out something in the room or I whatever. Do I would like to actually talk with someone, if possible. Yeah. I uh, just wanted to ask around if anyone had any idea where they went. Like, they went down the well, sure, but then it's, I'm assuming it, there's going to be some kind of maze and... If we know the direction, in case we need to go down there, it would mm -hmm. be super dangerous. Um, you find one one of these survivors here. His name's uh, Michael, and he probably was some kind of sewer worker for uh, in Horgrim's Gate. And he explains to you that this, uh, while this um, basically well, this connection to the cemetery is ancient. It's just one, uh, like one, a bit farther probably then a mile one long tunnel that just leads to the west side of the um, area he himself has been thinking a little bit about maybe due to the kind of like morphing of these two cities that maybe something has shifted maybe the tunnel isn't intact fully anymore since this is kind of like parts of the earth that have just been like ripped out so maybe there might be a few hazardous areas down there, but it's just one straight shot and then up another well and you should be in the cemetery. Okay. So awesome. there should really not be that much reason for them to have been gone that long. Well, if, they, if, if, know, this sewer, yeah, if the sewer system, I don't know, by some random stroke of luck, uh, kind of connected with the sewer system of uh, Holgrim's Gate, that yeah. one's a bit more of a maze, so yeah, that can justify it. And but once again, it's we're talking about your folks here, and if your mom and dad found a way to help people, then yeah, they're not going to be they won't be looking at the watch, so no, we know that definitely not. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna keep my concentration up and. All right, then both of you give me a perception check. Uh -huh. That's the second two tonight. Brilliant. And I've got a minus two on it. So it's a zero, which theoretically defaults to a 20. So that's a 20. I mean, I, I don't know if it helps, you know, you can just like before submitting the roll, roll it physically, then just enter the value. You think that I helps? I, I don't know if that is any like better or You've worse. You've witnessed me rolling physically as well. I got an eight. I got shitty rolls here on this. And what's your perception, perception bonus? Yeah, I have to check my perception. I don't see that well either. Um, I don't see anything, apparently. Perception is plus five. So that's 13. Perception. Initiative. Is that my wisdom? Where my, where's my... Oh, yeah, it's yeah, a wisdom yeah. bonus. I'm so wise now since I'm dead. <laughs> I'm so dead, deadly wise. Yeah, so that's a 13, yeah. Okay. Oh, Bend your watch nothing. comes uh, without any issue. Okay. Comes to a close. Who are you going to wake up next? Um, I'll give free on a nudge. <laughs> the middle the watch, watch sucks. <laughs> the middle watch sucks, I know, but... Uh, what just do you grunt, want, Brian Just grunt if you want to take over the next watch. If not, should I ask Tiala? Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Um, I'll 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 read my my book. Okay. Um, while I'm I, watching, then I let him get up and okay. I I go into his 
his warm spot. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm not getting up. Dirt. Oh, you're not getting up? Okay. You're no, I'm sitting Rick's, right next okay, to the good. door. So I'm oh, yeah, okay, that's true. There's the door okay, next then. to him and the well inside. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go over here between and kind of lay against the pillar and the and this graveside, whatever it is, and just kind of see if I can get some shut eye there and go to All go right. to sleep. Uh, anything else for you? If not, you can also roll a perception check for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to read in the book uh, with the five dragon heads. The five dragon heads. Let's see Book if on I the lore of Yamat. Info. All right. When I get up, I have to ask her if they have any thing for me to wear. <laughs> I'm still walking. And what around. was it? Perception. Yeah, perception. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. There's also nothing that you notice out of the ordinary it seems rather quiet there's one moment of where like at the far end of the room behind one of the survivors like a head you see a faint blue shimmer almost similar to to the ghost that you've seen but it immediately like dissipates again and you're not sure if you i just my yeah better run you bastard and then <laughs> read my book again yeah um all right and then your watch also comes to a close without any events. Uh, have a look around where Yala is resting, meditating, mm -hmm. and saunter saunter over to her and tip her on the shoulder. My lady, it's time to wake up now. I'm of course already awake. Just know, opening your eyes. <laughs> How much of rest Lulu needs or not? But maybe she... Lulu is like out cold. She's, She's just like cold. snorting. Have her, have her keep, let her keep snoring. I'm not quite sure, but I think I saw one of the ghosts stick his head into the room. I'm, um, yeah, might want to keep an eye on that. Yeah, I will. And I get back to the door and sit back down and try to sleep again. All right. Um. Yeah, Tiala, means anything I had special? a long rest, right? Yeah, all of you can note down a long rest. I think there's a button somewhere for that, but I can't yep. find it. Where is it? Uh, uh, under under hit, hit dice. Yes. S rest, under L rest. Under oh, yeah. hit die? In invent. Well, actually, in any of the. Double click the character icon and then. Oh, yeah. Short rest, long rest. There we go. It's... But under what tab? I'm trying to do it for Lulu, but I'm not any sure if I can. Dudes. Any tab. It doesn't matter in the top row where you have hit points, hit dice, oh. armor class, movement, yep. yeah. long rest. and then you have Take a long underneath rest, a long rest the two recovery, have okay. hit dice, you have That's the right. two buttons. Yeah, no, I have to set it manually then. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, she yeah, I also my, I got all my hit points back. Regains all of her spell yes. slots. That's nice. Yes, indeed. Okay, good. I think I got three hit dice. What the hell? All right. Very good. So, yeah, Tiala, is anything um, that you want to do during your rest? Anything special? No, just you bored. All right, make another um, perception check for me. I mean, I could identify the maze when I have time. If you want to. Yeah, it's about like, oh. if you, well, are you using the identify spell? No. Like you're trying to do an, like an arcana check, sit down with it because that takes yeah. about an hour or so. Yeah. Okay. Then go ahead and roll an arcana check for me. It's only uh, a nine. A nine. Yes. Well. You're definitely certain that this is a rare and powerful mace, but its features don't quite come to grasp and don't become clear to you after, even after concentrating on it for like an hour. 
I still think that there's more, that you need more time with it to fully understand it, how it works. Maybe I need Freon for this. I will ask him. So yeah, uh, did you already roll a perception check? No. Uh, 18. 18. Yeah, nothing. It's quiet. You have the feeling that some of these people here as well, um, they don't have that much to do other than sleep and just wait, and that really wears down on the whole kind of like atmosphere in this chamber because they're just waiting for whatever fate has in store for them for the return of Alder Raven Guard or maybe worse. Um, you hear some coughing here and there. Maybe some people are sick. But yeah, that's all. But you oh, all mess. come fully, fully rested back. Yeah. And actually, I have to pass some time here as well. I'm going to... No return from troop, I guess. I'm going to ask... Um, uh, what was her name? Um, our Jenkins. Our new friend. Yeah, Jenkins, if... Um, if Very they might... Yeah, they might have anything... Uh, not 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 necessarily male or anything, but maybe something which I could wear since I'm walking around here in the in the buff. Any old any old rag will do. An old shirt or something, or a, or a cloak which I could she wear. She kind of like looks around and she says, "Well, we have a couple of like just common clothes, maybe that yeah, we can share. Sure, Extra pair of which... pants and a shirt, maybe a belt. There we go. Yeah, that would be great because you know, it is. It's warm in hell, but still, you know, I don't have to walk around here in my loincloth. Sure. Then I'm going to add the clothes yeah, add, to your inventory. Yeah, she hands add, them to you. Yeah, just add. I don't know, common sweet. clothes. Common clothes. Do yeah. they have any weapons or armor or something lying around in this room? Are you actively searching for it? I I'm looking. Or just to want see. to glance around. I looking want to, to see. Around. Yeah. To make looking a perception check. Yeah. Um. Probably a good idea. I'm specifically looking for a shield. His <laughs> mind don't like me. It's too sassy. <laughs> it's too sassy. It's a seven. It's a seven. The only weapon you see is this kind of like ceremonial golden mace that uh, Feria has on her. But these people seem unarmed. Okay. 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 Well, if we're all rested and everybody else is ready, should we try to Head down where the others went. Yeah. Well, that's probably the easiest way to find Alton's parents, right? Probably, yeah. So mm -hmm. it would be a good idea. So. All right. So well, uh, F is, F is, Faria just, F says, uh, the... as you kind of like make your way to to yeah. the well. Well, as far as I know, it's just a uh, straight shot down for about a mile eastwards. And as soon as you hear anything or see Raven God, please tell him to come back. We are all awaiting his arrival desperately. Or maybe there's some way you can send us a message of some sort. We would be very appreciative. Yeah, we. Uh... Oh, by the way, uh, Freon is. Tata back? Yeah, I was just about to ask that. Yeah, I was wondering. What's what's uh, happening? She's not there. Wow. Because we sent her off, wow. but I can't remember. And then you went underground. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but she's an ethereal being. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. She could... She's not there yet. Wow. Okay. Yet. 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 God, I hope my, my foundry is not crashing because I'm trying to switch stuff around and it's just dead. Okay. We'll know in a sec. <laughs> okay. I've got um, the technical difficulties. Are there stairs? 
other stairs going down this well? Yeah, what or... you see are like almost these rusted kind of like iron, just like handlebars that okay, so yeah, step so after can step lead down so to. We don't need a you can't rope quite see the end, just looking down into yeah. to the well itself. How can I drop far a torch? deep down? Just to... Sure. Yeah, I have one. I can, which I was using. I can yeah, you you. It. Just whoosh and, and and burn burn up that torch and then drop it down. It goes for a couple of seconds. You're guessing maybe it goes down another 100 feet or so. Mm. But the way it's been falling and looking at the handlebars, they seem intact. Maybe except one or two that have maybe like broken off or have just rusted through. Minus one okay, torch. I'll, I'll start. I'll start crawling down. Yeah, I'll go second. Um, I'm going to restart Foundry very quickly. Okay. Because it just, like, died on me. Okay. Give me one second. However, what's you have your... Last connection to the server. Uh, what's your marching the order going to be? Like, going well, down the... Myself, then Alton. I guess Lulu can fly after me. She's gonna hover yeah, Lulu just she just she's just gonna hover. Yeah. And then if Tiala wants to, Freon, you want to take up the rear? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I, I don't really care. That's what we'll do. All right. Um. So whoever goes first, uh, it was you, Branwolf, right? Yes. All right. You make your way down slowly but surely, mm -hmm. and there's like a couple of um, these, like uh, like I said before, a couple of them that seem to have like broken off. But you just maneuver your way down. Yeah. Um, who goes after that? Freon? No, Alton. Yeah. Oh, Alton. All right. Um. Alton, you also make your way down. Um, one of your feet, like, slips on what looks to be just, like, one of these handles that are just, like, so rusted. I need you to make at about... Because this is happening at almost 70 feet or so still to go. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Radwolf, yeah. like with this size, try basically. to catch him. Yeah, yeah him you're you're, you're like a, a, a head kind of a little bit everything. downstairs. But first, yeah. I, I need you to still make a, a dexterity saving throw. A dex saving throw. Bam. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I I don't see it by the way. But what is it? Uh, well, let me roll physically because I didn't roll on this side. Okay. That is a 17 total. Oh, 17, yeah. yeah. Just in the last moment, you grasp uh, the handlebar in front of you correctly and just like, was just this one moment, you know, when you like skip a step uh, unintentionally, but you make your way down safely as well. Who comes uh, Watch down yourself. after that? Oh, good. Tiala is after him. Tiala? All right. Yeah, without issue as well as graceful as ever you make your way down and then Freon uh, Freon you also um, walk down at about probably still uh, halfway or so the handlebar as beneath you as ever simply <laughs> breaks I also need you to make a dexterity saving throw uh, I mean, we're all going at the same time, right? If Freon falls, I mean, yeah. we kind of. If he all... falls, I can catch him. Yeah, it's like always a couple of feet, 10 or yeah. so feet uh, ahead of you. 10? No, yeah. what? 12? 12. 12. Um, you slip and, like, just kind of rip a, rip, rip, rip a bit open your skin. But it seems fine, and you just shrug it off as you like do get the grip, and it just leaves a little scare. But that's about it. And you as also graceful oh. as a dwarf, <laughs> as a dwarf, <laughs> and uh, you also just like plunge into the soaking puddle at the bottom of these uh, of this well, 
and you all see immediately like opening up in front of you um who has a light source at this point um i am going to because the torch as freon comes down the last bit of the soaked torch that was lying on the bottom is now yeah. going out oh i light a torch i all right. i had one yeah I mean, uh, you you uh, lit up a second one because the first one you threw down is like yeah, damp yeah. and yeah, gone exactly. out. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you do see now just this dark opening, black tunnel that just leads on into darkness. Yeah, use it. Okay. Well then, what did okay. he say? Just straight on. Straight on. Yeah. Okay. Okay, then oh, who? Were, uh, someone you. was talking to one of the survivors, wasn't it you, Alton? Oh, yeah, but it, it was—it's literally just a single tunnel, as far as I know, as far as I was yeah. told. That's it. Okay, then just give me the torch, Alton, and I got my brandish out my sword just in case. So I got my sword in one hand, torch in the other, and just kind of slowly creeping forward and All trying right. to find the way. Watching my step at the same time, looking for... I mean, this is not enough space for two people to go side by side, yeah, but no, one I'm by going one. Ahead. So whoever's going, going to helm this, uh, I need you to make a perception check for the yeah. time that's passing as you're just traversing this long sewage tunnel. What happened? It's all good. The rule did. The rule. Did you see it? No, no, no. Uh, no. There's some server issues. Oh, the going game on. is paused. The game is. Oh yeah, paused. I just, oh, I just been paused it. So I don't know. I'm not sure if that was it. Very okay, good. then I'll, I'll roll. Physically. Oh, yeah. That's a sixteen, and what am I doing? Perception. Mm-hmm. That would be sixteen plus five is twenty-one. 21. Um, yeah, you do kind of make out after about okay. probably 10 or so minutes of just like slowly walking. You do see there's some light up ahead and coming oh, okay. closer, you see what looks to be a kind of like opening as you see suddenly just these wafts of black clouds uh, black smoke kind of passing through the tunnel and this fiery red light as you do see it's opening into what seems to be another crevice in the uh, like you see right in front of you maybe four or five feet is mm -hmm. straight cut through the other half of this tunnel and you're standing on the other side okay. but you're currently like exposed to the outside, to the elements of Avernus, and you see it's quite the sight because, I mean, you're on the same height with the other tunnel. It's probably just a, a good jump. Yeah. Um, but looking down, you now see, and this is also uh, very like present now, the sound of battle beneath you. You yeah. see just a vast army or maybe two armies and 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 being a little bit um deeper uh, lower now than you were before and getting a good look at this that are just tearing away immediately the smell of not only sulfur but also blood fills the air okay there's like one part of you that's like you would almost wish that you would be in the fray of this because yeah. this is your high but this looks uh, savage and you see like just uh, like, almost like this silvery kind of line tearing through these armies is this uh, river that is the river Styx flowing beneath Elturel's gate. Okay, can we make it over with a jump or should we, can we? The gap was certainly, you know, you can, it's about five feet, yeah. Yeah. 
No we'll signs of try. struggle or like difficulties from the previous party. Like don't you know. don't see anybody. Here. No, no or, or any signs of it, or any signs that someone might might have fallen off or had difficulties in here. Make an investigation check. I just want to make sure my parents are alive. That's all. Eighteen. You can't see anything. It's nice. just this this torn tunnel. It's not as you don't see any. I mean, I even think, if somebody's fallen yeah. off, yeah, they probably fell off. Yeah, if they fell off, if they think that there's so not gonna, gonna be any sign of struggle, no, you're guessing. No sign, I just think. Okay, then I'm gonna jump over. All right, make an athletics check. Oh, athletics boy. check. Let hmm? me see. Take this rope with you, or this end of the rope. Okay, I'll take the end of a row. Athletics <laughs> is plus... And it's just out and holding it. Plus <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Whee! Okay. <Boom. laughs> just being pulled back. At least I don't have to jump myself. Done. Easy. Okay. Okay, this once again is not working. I have to do it manually. 12 plus 8 is 20. 20. Yeah, the barbarian leaps and just put them lands on the other side. It's a bit slippery, yeah. but uh, you've planted both feet and yeah. you're secure and, and you've I made it to the other the end. rope around my waist for whoever, just in case if anybody should slip, <clears throat> that I can easily hold them. All right. Whoever jumps. So whoever jumps now, you know, take the rope with you. And when you jump, just in case you slip, that I can hold you. I look. So I just can brace look, myself yeah. there. I look backwards and ask the other two, "Do you need this rope? Because I would love to use it, just in case I mess up." Do I use sure. it? I, 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 I tie. You see, this. you see um, that Lulu is also like already floating towards Branwolf, and one one trunk like just snorkeling around the rope. I tie it as hard as I can around me and just leap myself. All right, make an athletics check. Oh, <laughs> those famous last words. I uh, got gotcha. ya. I got gotcha. ya. Bam. Oh, I've seen worse. Yeah, I've seen I, I would worse. say roll with advantage since Branwolf's helping you with I'm the rope you. and Lulu as well. Oh, uh, yeah, she, yeah, she. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> there you same go. thing. Double nine. Cool. Double nine. Yeah, you, you jump and you do land with both feet on like the edge of the, like, you're not quite sure. It's like this weird thing because you jump and you hit the edge of the tunnel with both of your feet and you already feel that you're kind of slipping. The first thing that comes to mind is like, what happened here? Why is this tunnel even like, you know, split? And then you realize, oh shit, I'm falling. And uh, yeah, immediately, so like, Bramwolf and Lulu just like tug you back and also just leave you with a good scare. <laughs> Oof, perfect. Oh, I'm awake. That'll, yes. that'll fill your pants. Uh huh. <laughs> I need another rest. Yeah, yeah. and another <laughs> pair of underwear. <laughs> Okay, um, kind of untie it off of Alton and throw the rope over to Tiala. Do you want to go next, Leon, or should I? Um, if you prefer, go ahead. I can go I... first as well, I don't mind. Yeah, you go first. All right. I just okay. watch you guys. All right, I'll jump across. Once again, okay, I brace you also myself. Roll Hold with on. advantage. Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah, yeah, without without issue, you leap and it's quite a sight that dwarf jumping five feet. Yeah. And securely planting himself on the other end. As gracefully as ever. Exactly. As ever, yes. Super All right, Tiala, 
You also jump. Do I get the rope as well? Yep. You, oh, you wait for the rope. Yep. The it's rope okay. goes back over. Go a few steps back and start running. Yep. And I don't know if you just jumped, but I want to have like a, a head start. Movement. Yeah. <laughs> Do a flip. Do a flip. So also roll with advantage. I rolled a double twelve. A so double that's twelve. 15. Yeah. You also. Yeah. You don't even need the rope. You also just gracefully managed to go past it. And you all venture further into darkness again. Branwolf, you're still leading, right? Yeah, I'm leading. I'm going to give the rope back to Alton mm -hmm. so he can save it. And uh, take my torch and brandish my sword again and slowly go forward. All right. <clears throat> yeah, you... Hang on a bit. Let me... There we go. Um, you do uh, also make your way to the end of the uh, tunnel uh, that still ends in darkness, but similar as before, as you went down, you see these like rails leading up to a point where there's definitely light, and uh, you make your way back up, and. Um, it's still the same order, right? That you guys are going at. Yeah, it's me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Alton. Hang on. My map's Ooh, loading. Flying between us. Load. So yeah, you go up and you slowly but surely come to this uh, area where it's definitely a bit brighter. And you all make your way to... Uh, the top of this well and you see Branwolf immediately there's this kind of like well walled off well uh, that you peek your head out of mm -hmm. and the first thing you notice is that it's true this well actually leads to a what looks to be a nicely little fenced off cemetery of some kind okay um you do see that there's a it looks like a large chapel uh, in the middle of the cemetery as well. However, uh, several of the graves uh, around the area have been dug up, leaving pits in the earth that are maybe like six feet deep, two feet wide, seven feet long. Yeah. Um, there's a number of like stone mausoleums as well that stand vacant, their doors kind of like hanging open. Um. And basically, the first thing you observe, um, similar, you smell this this ash and 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 soot and sulfury kind of smell uh, in in your nose. It's not the blood isn't as present here. There's something else, which is more like the scent of musky death, kind of old okay. flesh. Yeah. Yeah. You. The, the word you're probably looking for is decay. To just put it yeah. down. Um, and you suddenly hear like branches snapping as well. And you see, one under a uh, uh, coming coming uh, be like behind, uh, in front to to the light. Uh, you see this haggard kind of humanoid figure with skin hanging off its face this uh, zombie-like creature. And it's not only one. You also see a what looks to be like an animated skeleton just wandering aimlessly around the place. But it's not one or two or three. It looks like dozens, dozens. that are just wandering aimlessly. They There's one that just like immediately, you're sure it must have seen you, but it just walks past you without okay. interest it doesn't attack yeah. or anything you see that there's like the area is lit by these um partly there's like candles burning uh, beneath and, and aside of these like little gravestones okay. and you also see that partly there's like areas where small little okay. embers are burning as well okay. or maybe Do we other even need elements. the torch then because then i why, why no, it's we? like yeah. not. It's like not not as dark. I'm going to extinguish the as torch, you know, because same, you know, because if they're not, if they're, if they're oblivious, uh, yeah. to us, you do, you do, however, see in the distance to the south of you, 
there are what look to be three enormously hulking bone-like uh, figures that are just kind of roaming around what looks to be like the entrance of this chapel and this pathway that's leading past it. Do we have a map or because the game is paused? Or You should we... have a map, yeah. Because mine says game paused. Do try I have to try refresh? Reloading. Yep. Yeah. Well, maybe you have to refresh. Okay, I'll, yeah. I'll refresh. I'll refresh. I'll refresh. Then... Oh, okay. Have to go all the way back. Okay. Signing on. We know where they went. They just said something about some artifact here, right? Trying to find an artifact, yeah, at the graveyard, but. So are you all coming like out of the um the well? Or is or is Brandwolf just peeking his head out and describing? No, his... I, I I I'm I'm looking at at this, but um, and just kind of slowly but very cautiously getting getting out of the well. Mm -hmm. kind of <laughs> what, just... what are you doing, Blackwater? I'm trying to turn off the torch. Are you trying to turn it off? Yes. You just have to click on it again, or no, your lantern, yeah, or whatever. It does not work because it's a non-assigned value. It's not oh yeah, zero, then. But, yeah. Still need yeah. to check that around. Then it might just be I, I got your light here. It's in your normal settings. Let me just remove that. Yes, please. I think. Stop it. Stop clicking stuff. I'm done. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to look into one, it afterwards. Yeah. Two. Where's the third one? Oh, no, they're down here. They're standing like right in front of this entryway. Yeah, because I was looking. See, what these I mean, other... what what you're what you're basically looking at is these enormous, bulky, almost skeletal figures. But you see, as a head, it's almost like in the shape of a maybe like a cow or beast with yeah. these large protruding Those horns that spheres, go off to the yeah. side, and this I faintest shimmery bluish kind of uh, like almost foggy kind of glow in these eye sockets yeah. well um how long have we been walking Wielding how long do you... what looks like great axes well i put it this way forget it we 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 slept so my so alton's potion is gone so i'm yes i am now now can be I... So I'm susceptible to magic again, yeah. I can give you another okay. one if you're interested in it. Yeah, hey, Tiala, uh, are you I still just... like? Uh, do you still have any uh, lights? I, I think it would be no. it would be good because. No. Okay. Because if they use magic, you know, this way, off. this way, I can just use use my battle force, and uh, if it if this if this makes me non susceptible to magic, it might be a good idea. I mean, do you have it, another? Do you I... have a? I have another one extra, yeah, but don't forget this counts for both offensive as well as like healing magic. So if Tiala wants to oh. save you something, it's all magic. So all magic won't help. I mean, yeah, you know what? I'm 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 rested up. Oh, I don't need it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then uh, let me see. Let me see. Here we are. Yeah, but did you see the several of these? Is there yeah. any indication where the party before us went? Um, like steps or I don't know. Make an investigation check. Oopses. Yeah, are there anything? Are there like any? Nah. Uh, 11, I think. Um, I mean, you do see that the there's like this main kind of pathway with these stone slabs, and it's hard to track anything there. Well, there's like ash around the place and, and, and dust. You can't spot any particular footprints belonging to the party that went here before you. No, no bodies or anything lying around either from no. non-animated bodies. <laughs> 
Okay. Well, um, I believe since we're going to have to engage with them anyways, but maybe I have to see what would be smart. I would rather avoid fighting and mm -hmm. try and sneak. I mean, what you uh, also see uh, getting a little bit closer to this chapel is that the the city's descent uh, into Avernus has probably uh, taken its toll on what looks like maybe a once beautiful chapel because now nearly all of the stained glass windows, you only see like splinters here and there. They have been shattered uh, along the outside walls or smashed. And you see that the main doors, they also like hang ajar and open. Um, but there's no sign of any other creatures in or around the building that you can see except for these three hulking uh, minotaur like figures and also uh, these several skeletons and zombies around that don't seem to uh, take notice uh, of you. You do see Wonderful. that the yeah. um, while the other uh, while these skeletons and zombies they kind of like wander around endlessly you also um, you see w one of the skeletons uh, Blackwater to you it gets pretty close and like almost bumps into you and then just keeps on walking as if it wouldn't take any notice of you. The minotaurs themselves just stand eerily still. I wonder if we could, if we're far enough away, let's see, that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That's almost 60 feet if we stay at this gate, at this, at this wall, because there's like a fence. Oops. Do you all see this fence on the side? Mm -hmm. If we can, if we can, you know, right, right where the well comes up, if we can... Just kind of, let me see. Why can't I move myself? Hello? Yeah, I mean, are there enough like the... trees and things in the way yeah, to like, yeah, sneak there? Yeah, where well, there's bushes and there's, there's like thing... a couple of bushes and trees and yeah. also like grave gravestones yeah, like, that are large enough I... to maybe see hide like uh, at some... least a crouched person <laughs> no, or, or a dwarf go, or halfling. We go down here this way I'm talking about, you know, down that way. What about the yeah. other... Oh, uh, Bram will make a stealth check for me. Uh, we would. Oops. I haven't done the M. I was just trying to show you. Oh, come on, get back. There. Um. I was gonna say. We, what was I gonna it, say? It, it is still possible to go through the northern part, right? Yeah. Or is that yeah, possible? Yeah. Those three guys, right? Yeah. Make yeah. a perception check. Yeah. Also, how high are the windows? Could we just climb in a window? Because you said the glass is shattered. Yeah. Uh, make a perception check for me first. Who? <laughs> I look at the wrong side. That's <laughs> Did you say north or south? <laughs> um, it looks like the northern, uh, this northern area along the northern side of the chapel is extremely like overgrown with with thicket and, and thorny kind of okay. growths um, across some some gravestones that are there and you might be having a hard time going through there okay. so what do you think Alton I mean nothing that a bit of fire wouldn't solve right well, but then there's then also you also see there's also well. small little embers burning here and there and bushes that are on fire. Yeah, and uh, but weirdly enough, how... it doesn't seem to spread. It just seems to like burn and keep on burning. This way, we are in a pretty. If we if we take the initiative, and I don't think they're friendly guys at chat that we're gonna make friends out here with these minotaurs. But if we, at the, at the moment, if we take the initiative, we could probably get a good few shots off, like Eldritch Blasts and Fireballs and things like that. Um, but maybe. they're like twice your size. That, and we have to consider yeah. if they are somehow triggered into battle, it could be that all of the smaller minions also join mm. in. Which... I think we should try to step around. 
Yeah. Yes. Well, there were. We can there try was, and lure yeah. them away from the entrance. Yeah. Throw, throw a rock. <laughs> throw a bone or something. Hibble. What was that, Bill? I don't know, Tom. <laughs> you want to go have a look? Oh yeah, let's have a look. Um, can I go and investigate that? That's how they talk as well. <laughs> yeah. Bill and Bob. The Minotaurs. Bill, Bob, and Tom. What oh, the three shucks. What's going on over well, there? Yeah, what were the three trolls? Bert, <laughs> Tom, and Bill. Yeah, and William, yeah. <laughs> Sounds um, like a DM made up those names on the spot. Yeah. And we're um, talking Tolkien. I, I want to... <laughs> yeah. I want to check out the northern thick thicket to see if it's possible to traverse it in some way because i am a bit smaller so all right sure then I'm not and i want to know huh, how uh, high up the windows are um from what Is you're looking at the I'm... windows are probably a couple of feet high and you could maybe like uh, force entry there as well I mean, you said the glass is shattered, so we wouldn't. Yeah, the have glass to is break shattered. Anything. They kind of, they kind of like start at about maybe three feet or so, so easy enough you could just walk through. The windows themselves are pretty high; they're about maybe five, six feet. Yeah, I'm just saying. Do we need what a door we... to get in, or can we no, just no, climb no. in a window? Yeah. And uh, if we can get them, or if we can, I'm thinking of maybe. I mean, if Lulu is high enough. And hopefully, if they're using those axes, they hopefully no, don't shoot flames out of their eyes or something, whatever. If Lulu can more or less, you know, just kind of confuse them or, you know, fly toward them and just kind of distract them, we could maybe sneak in. And then if she just flies high enough and tries to get away from them. Uh, Lulu is actually a good point. Maybe she... Lulu, could you... Would you be able to look what's inside the chapel if also there is good, any yeah. uh like anyone looking like like he and i pointed blackwater i mean sure and i can have a look other humans maybe maybe try and yeah try to avoid those three big dies at the entrance but it looks kind of creepy yeah but i mean I'm supposed to go there all by myself and just yeah, take just a little Just have a look here. through the you're window. The one, the you're the only one that can fly. You know, just keep I mean, I profile. could turn into a little mouse and, like, climb on your back and we can have a look together if you want to. That sounds better, yeah. Then okay. I don't have to go alone. I poof into a little mouse. Poof. poof. All right. And you um, go over, like the you send her to the closest window, yes. which would probably be around here. Yeah. Have her kind of fly Isn't there, like a little her. harness on her back now, where Tiala can fit into yeah. her as her mouse <laughs> form and steer her along. <laughs> so both um, Tiala and Lulu, you you make your way, kind of like avoiding the skeletons. Yeah. Um, Tiala, you also give me a quick stealth check. Oh, I wanted to cast pass without a trace before we did this. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, we can still do that if you want. To. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so that's uh, advantage? No, or it's what does plus it do? 10. Plus 10, all right. Yeah, Lulu there passes. Eh... I think I've got a third. Or, or who something. are you? Pass. Uh, who are you? Is it just you and Lulu? No, I would have done it when we were like standing. Oh no! Because it's never a mind. it's a thirty feet radius. All of yes, you are it's... actually getting this. Yeah, but it's around me. Ah, around you. You know, got it's it. centered yeah, on yeah, me. Yeah, it's centered yeah. on you. So it's basically this aura. Um, All right. Yes. Let me just uh, quickly step. Plus three, so 29. 29. Yeah, both of you sneakily just make your way towards the chapel. Um, let's see, actually, if I can somehow, because I should be able to just do a little 
deletion or something in ah here I can draw a door I don't know if this works I don't think so I see something I see the door but I I don't, I don't. think it does anything no. no okay never mind then um yeah, both of you uh, walk up to to the shattered door, and you do see uh, Tiala even before like you can get a good look because Lulu is the there first, and you're kind of scrummaging around. You see what almost looks like a a shadow on your the edge of your periphery, um, going past these. Um, past these, uh, um, because basically walking up, what what you're kind of making? No, I don't think we would be walking. I think I would be Flo sitting. floating. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But basically floating to this point, um, since this looks like a, also almost like a little porch strip in front of this uh, chapel where these large pillars are, are holding um, uh, this this chapel roof. Uh, you see these like carved pillars that resemble some heroes of you can't like get a get a good look without taking some time um that decorate these like gray this this gray flagstone almost like a patio uh, leading uh, into the main uh, chapel um and you do see like uh, coming up to one of these windows like this this shadow just passing on the edge uh, of your periphery and uh entering like out of one of these pillars you see what looks to be just this wisp of dark humanoid figure this shadow this shade that just morphs into this kind of form of a humanoid and at the same time the pillar next next to lulu closest to her you see a similar a bluish kind of appearance that comes out of this pillar as well as another ghostly specter-like form appears. And even further down the third pillar, there's another shadow that kind of comes out and they all more or less rush uh, towards you. Lulu immediately just like shrieks out in panic um, with you on top of her and just like panics as these three shapes close in on her i would need all of you guys to roll for initiative but we were so stealthy the but, fuck <laughs> but this is where we will continue next week are you rolling we... today or we... next week i would roll next week yeah yeah Oof. to have it fresh Good, yeah keep that you know keep that, on stealth that good luck the fuck well you can't like dodge around at spirits or whatever that might sense you or, or you're not quite sure if this is a trap or something else fact is that these entities just come out of these um pillars as soon as you like slowly emerge out of them as you uh, set foot on that patio hmm. well All right well that was fun <laughs> we will see how this may be avoidable or not uh, battle turns out next week <laughs> maybe it's time to talk with ghosts again Branwolf has a knack with that maybe yeah. hey and, I'm uh, dead um, you're dead oh, let's have a club <laughs> yeah thanks everybody for listening and watching and we shall continue. Uh, we we did move our date back to Wednesdays for now, so we will continue next week Wednesday, same time, seven p.m. Central European Standard Time. And yep, that's all I have to say for now. So, see you next week. Stay safe. Yep. Bye bye. Stay see healthy. Bye bye. Next week. Bye. Yeah. bye.